Welcome to this answer explanation video for divide 1 and 2 digits by 10. This video will talk through the answers to the divide 1 and 2 digits by 10 worksheet and have a look at some of the tricky bits. Question 1. Match each calculation to the correct answer. So we have three calculations where we're dividing by 10 and then we have three options below where we've got numbers written on a place value grid. I've got a place value grid ready here. You could do the same, you could use counters on them or you could write in them like I'm going to do today. So we'll start off with 47 divided by 10. When we're dividing by 10, the digits move one column to the right and that makes them 10 times smaller. So I'm just going to show 47 in my grid here and I'm going to move each of these digits one space to the right. So my seven moves into my tenths column and my four tens move, the four moves into the ones column. So we have our decimal point in the middle and we have 4.7. So 47 divided by 10 equals 4.7. Then move on to B. We have four divided by 10. So I have four here and I'm going to move it one column to the right, put the four in here, make sure my decimal point's there. Because we have something in the tenths column and nothing in our ones column, our zero becomes a placeholder here. So four divided by 10 equals 0 0.4. Finally, we've got 74, so seven tens and four ones. We're going to move each of those digits one place to the right. So we have seven in our ones column, four in our tenths column, our decimal point goes in the middle and we have 7.4. Question two, complete the calculations, use digits to show your answers. So the question might not be given in digits, but all of our answers must be written with digits. Calculation A, we have tens and ones represented using base 10. So I'm going to write what the calculation is up here. I have six tens and five ones. So that's 65, then we're dividing by 10 to find the answer. So we can use the same process, we can use counters or we can write on the place value grid. So I have six tens and five ones. Each digit's going to move one place to the right. So we have six ones and five tenths now. So our answer is 6.5. And your answer should be on the place value grid showing six ones and five tenths with the decimal point in the middle. The next one is 59 divided by 10. Same thing, five tens and nine ones. We're going to move each digit one place to the right. So we end up with five ones, decimal point, nine tenths. So the answer is 5.9. And then C, we just have ones in this one. So it's going to be eight divided by 10. Place our eight in our ones column, move it one space to the right. And again, because we don't have any ones, we need a zero as our placeholder, and the answer is 0 0.8. Question three. Christina is completing the division calculation using a Gatenio chart. Explain Christina's mistake. What is the correct answer? So, I've drawn a Gatenio chart here so that we can have a look together. And I'm just going to write down the calculation Christina was doing, which was 81 divided by 10. Now, Christina says, I have shown my working, but I have made a mistake. And I'm going to place a counter over 10 and a counter over 8 just to replicate what Christina has in the question. So, we know that Christina has made a mistake. She's looking at dividing 81 by 10. We can use a Catenio chart by partitioning our number. So, 81 is made of 80 and 1, and we're going to divide each of those by 10 to find our answer. I'm going to leave Christina's counters there for the moment so we can compare how we're going to do it. I'll just get a different counter so we can have a look. So 80 divided by 10. We start with 80 here and to divide by 10, we just move one row down. So 80 divided by 10 is eight. And Christina has placed her counter in the correct place. We then need to divide 1 by 10. So I locate 1 and to divide by 10 we go down one row so that would be 0 
I can see here that Christina has actually gone up one row, which is multiplied by 10. We could put our answer together. So eight and 0 0.1 is 8.1. So that should be the answer Christina got. So the correct answer is 8.1. And the mistake Christina made was that she multiplied one by 10 instead of dividing by 10. That was an answer explanation video for the divide one and two digits by 10 worksheets from Classroom Secrets. For more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk and for a video tutorial on the same step, go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thanks for watching.